welcome to our review on net resistance and circuit calculations. So the first thing that we actually need to know about here is what we mean by the phrase net resistance. So anytime we talk about net resistance, what we're actually saying is that we're going to take all of the components within our circuit and replace them with a single resistor. Now, the net resistance is the resistance of that circuit at that point. So what we actually do know is that whatever calculation we've come up with as the net resistance, then that will actually change if we were to change the arrangement of our components or the components themselves. So one thing that you could be asked is to consider what would actually happen to current and net resistance if we added an identical lamp in either series or parallel. So have a think right now, do you know what would actually happen if we were to add a second identical lamp in series first of all, and what would happen if we were to add a second identical lamp in parallel to the circuit? Hopefully we went back to some of our prior knowledge and came up with the fact that if we add an identical lamp in series, then what we're going to find is that the current decreases and the net resistance increases. Whereas if we think about adding that identical lamp in parallel, then the total current is going to increase and the net resistance will decrease. So if we recap on what we already know about a series circuit, we know that the current is the same everywhere in that circuit. No matter where you connect your ammeter, you will get the same reading. We also know that the potential difference across each component adds up to the potential difference across the battery. And the last thing that we know is that our potential difference is our current times resistance. So those are three facts that you really need to remember and learn because they're going to help us out when we come on to do other calculations. So the kind of question we could get is find the resistance of the variable resistor and then you'll be given a circuit diagram like the one on the left there. Now, the first thing that we actually need to do in this is write down what you actually know. So if we look at our diagram, we can pull off the fact that the potential difference across our battery is 6 volts. Our current is 300 milliamps or if we convert that into amps as we should do straight away, it's 0.3 amps and the resistance of our lamp is 15 ohms. So we've got three bits of information to start us off. So the second thing we need to do is work out the potential difference across the lamp. Now in doing so, that's gonna give us extra information that we need to actually work out the resistance of our variable resistor because we can't do the variable resistor yet because we just don't have the information. So what we're going to do is look back to what we remember about our series circuits, those three things that we know, and we know that potential difference is current times resistance. So in order to actually work out the potential difference across our lamp, we're just going to do the current, which is 0.3 amps, times by our resistance, which is 15 ohms, and that gives us 4.5 volts. So the next thing that we will actually be doing is working out our potential difference across the variable resistor. And the reason that we can do that is because if we think back to what we know about our series circuit, we know that the potential difference across each component added up is the same as the potential difference across our battery. So we know the potential difference across the battery is 6 volts. We know the potential difference across our lamp is 4.5. So if we do 6 minus 4.5, that leaves us with the potential difference of our variable resistor, which in this case is 1.5 volts. So the last thing we need to do then is work out the resistance of our variable resistor. We now have enough information to do that. We've just calculated our actual potential difference across our resistor so that we know that that's 1.5. We also know that because this is a series circuit, then the current is the same everywhere within that circuit. So we've got our current as well. So as long as we use our potential difference is current times resistance, we rearrange it so that resistance becomes a subject. So we've got resistance is potential difference divided by current, substituting our values, 1.5 divided by 0.3, and then just plug that into your calculator. And that will give you your answer of five ohms. And again, just remember to include the units if it's not already given to you as part of your answer line. The next situation to consider is what we know about our parallel circuits. 
So again, we know three important bits of information that we need to remember about parallel circuits. First of all, that the potential difference is the same across each loop. Secondly, that the current in each loop will add up to the current near our battery. And finally, our potential difference is current times resistance. So again, we could be given a question as simple as find the resistance of the lamp with our circuit diagram showing a parallel circuit. So our first step is always going to be the same. We're going to write down what we know. And in this case, we know that potential difference of our battery is 12 volts. We know our current is 0.1 amps up near the actual battery. And we know the resistance of our resistor is 150 ohms. The second thing we need to do is work out our current through the resistor, because that's the only thing you can work out with the information you've been given. So all we need to do is rearrange our V equals IR, and that gives us current is potential difference divided by resistance. So substitute in the values that we've got. So 12 divided by 150 gives us 0.08 amps as our current along the loop with our actual resistor in it. So now we actually know the current that's going through our first loop with the resistor in it. We know the current near the battery. That means we can work out the current near our actual lamp, because as we already said, the current in each loop adds up to the current near the battery. So we know that we've got 0.1 amps as our current near the battery, and we can take off the 0.0 amps that we've just worked out as the current going through our resistor loop. And that tells us the current going through our lamp loop is 0.02 amps. So the last thing we then need to do is work out the resistance of our lamp. So we already know, obviously, the potential difference because that stays the same in any loop. So it's going to be the 12 volts. We also know our current through our little loop with a lamp is 0.02 amps. So if we use our resistance is potential difference divided by current, substitute in our 12. So it's 12 divided by 0.02 and that gives us our answer of 600 ohms. And again, if you're not given the actual units as part of the answer line, always include it, because that could very well be worth another mark in the question. The only other thing they could ask you to do with that same setup of our circuit is to calculate the net resistance. And remember what we said right at the very beginning, that the net resistance is as if we've taken all of the components and replaced them with a single resistor. So all we're going to do here is then to work out the net resistance, potential difference divided by the current. So we're not worried about the arrangement at this point. All we're using are those two values. So 12 divided by 0.1 gives us a net resistance of 120 ohms. So just be aware of the fact that that's obviously very different to the resistance that we've calculated for the two components when you look at them together because of the way in which they're arranged, which, as we said, would affect our values for resistance.